Hi there, my name is Kyle Bishop and I'm speaking on behalf of Big Brothers Big Sisters Lincoln. We're a community-based mentoring program that pairs young people aged 7 to 16, and we call them littles, with adult mentors aged 19 and older, and we call them bigs. And when littles and bigs are together, they're doing activities out in Lincoln because we're community-based. So that could be a trip to the library or maybe a walk in the park or maybe it's a visiting a local sports game. It can be activities of that nature. And uh, when I think of stories that come out of our program as of recent, uh, one, one that stands out to me is of uh, the story of little Jack and his big Joseph. Jack and Joseph actually concluded their match earlier this year but they were originally paired up in September of 2020 amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And this was a difficult time for mentoring because, you know, matches meet with each other, usually out in public. And due to the circumstance of the time that made this difficult, I mean, these two, they actually were matched over Zoom and then they had a follow-up meeting outside of a local Scooters, but they stayed together and a lot has changed over the last 33 months. Uh, little Jack is entering his junior year of high school and will be enrolled at the Career Academy. His big, Joseph, uh, upon graduating UNL, he moved back to Omaha, but he still took time out of his schedule to come down to Lincoln twice per month and spend time with Jack. And they'd just, you know, catch up with each other and chat and share a meal with each other. And one thing is for certain about these two, and it's their commitment to their friendship and support for one another. Uh, Big Joseph is reflected that in reality, they've both experienced great personal growth and have grown together over these last almost three years. And despite the distance between the two, they plan to continue their friendship over phone call and text message. And this story is one of many. Last year, our program served 176 youth, and this year we currently have 106 matches. And the funds that go to the CHAD campaign actually help to support match, match activities, like the ones that Jack and Joseph and many others engage in. It also helps us to provide funding to crucial match support for all the matches in our program and it helps us to have discounts for tickets like a local sports sporting outings or uh, out, group match activities with local businesses. Uh, the funds from that really help to make those experiences possible for matches. But it doesn't just end with our program when you donate to the CHAD campaign. Uh, when you donate to that, you're giving to every nonprofit that's under the umbrella of the campaign. And I've chatted with coworkers in our program and they've said that every agency under that umbrella has helped families in our program in one way or another. So really, when you give to the CHAD campaign, you're, you're giving to a, a whole network of nonprofits that support fundamental needs for families in Lincoln. So I hope you consider giving to the CHAD campaign this year and thank you.